you cool cats Cajun here the sax habit coach bringing you the best practice tips tools and ideas to help you as a beginner saxophone player develop the practice habits and routines to master your saxophone faster now my purpose is to serve motivate and to inspire you so if it's your first time here consider subscribing and remember to turn on that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video on this channel so the other day I saw a very intriguing question and I made this video today to answer just that. Now as a beginner or someone just coming back to playing the saxophone after a very long time, you may find that when you play your sax, your embouchure gets tired very easily, very quickly. But why is that? Is it just you or do other people encounter a similar problem? So here's the question that I saw recently and this is from Mike. Mike says, Hi guys, my lower lip gets tired pretty quickly. I need to loose up my embouchure pretty often while playing tunes. Is this normal? I know that lip is a muscle, so finally it will get tired and as any other muscle, I can train it, but I'm starting to worry that there is something wrong with my embouchure. So how do you fix a tired embouchure? To begin with, if you're a beginner saxophone player, you are going to find that your lip or your embouchure is going to get tired pretty quickly. It's a process, just like going to the gym. You go to the gym, you're able to lift 5, 10, or 15 kilograms, right? And so on. You're going to get tired. Now, one of the things that causes your embouchure to get tired even faster is if you are blowing on a very hard reed. Additionally, you may be overbiting on your mouthpiece, therefore exerting more pressure and force than you actually need to get the job done. Now, in this case, you have to relax your embouchure muscles when you are blowing so that it doesn't get tired too quickly. Training embouchure is a process. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. You have to understand that it takes time for these muscles to get strong enough where you can play for a lengthy period of time without them getting tired. And even professional players get tired, but there are processes to follow in order to play longer. Now, in order to strengthen your embouchure muscles, you need to play your long tones. I can't stress those enough for a period of time and then the muscles will eventually develop and get stronger so that you can play longer, you know, play tunes, melodies, scales, whatever. Now, note however that regardless of what you do, sometimes you're going to find that your embouchure is going to give way. They're going to get tired as a donkey. <laughs> So what you can do is use the process of what I call, or what is known as the Pandora Technique. You practice for 25 minutes, then you take a five minutes break, right? To refresh yourself and give your embouchure a break to recoup. Take a walk in or around your house or apartment. Do some stretches, drink some water, something, right? Just make sure that you take five minutes uh, break from the saxophone. Now, if 25 minutes is too long of a stretch, then go for 15 minutes or whatever amount of time works for you before your embouchure just give way, right? Now, rinse and repeat that process over the length of time you are practicing for. Now, I know, I know, I know, my friend, that you are very excited and you are going through what is known as the honeymoon phase of your saxophone playing. You are overly excited and overly committed that you just want to play for hours and hours, but that's not good. Ideally, you should limit your practice to one hour max as a beginner and gradually increase the time as your embouchure gets stronger. Now, when you find that your blowing and air is coming out the two sides of your jaw, it means that your embouchure is very tired and you need to put your socks down. It's time to take a rest. You will only do more harm than good to yourself and to your playing if you continue to play your saxophone in that fashion. Now, one of the key points also to pay attention to while developing your embouchure is to remain consistent. Your embouchure won't get strong fast enough if you don't train them daily, but you do so in a haphazard manner where you try to practice for three hours straight on Sunday, but the rest of the week on the other days you remain dormant. You know, Bruce Lee once said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 
10,000 times. I, I guess you get the point, right? So in answer to Mike's question, if something is wrong with his embouchure, the answer is that his embouchure is weak. And that's why they get tired so quickly when he plays tunes, melodies, etc. So earlier I mentioned the size of reed you may be playing on. And that's a big factor. As a beginner, you want to start playing on a soft reed size, a size 1.5, for example, and later as you outgrow that, you can get a harder reed size. The greater the number of the reed size, the more quickly your embouchure will wear out if the muscles are not used to that kind of strain. Now, I'll leave links in the description below as to the reeds that I recommend that you use as a beginner. Now, remember, it's a new skill, right? It will take time, energy, effort, lots of patience with yourself. And remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. By the way, 10 to 15 minutes daily on a consistent basis will strengthen your embouchure quickly. So go out there, practice, 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 and practice again. And as always, guys, push, play until something happens. Peace.